And to discuss more about this ovarian cyst, today we have in our studio obstetrician and gynecology and oncology consultant at MMC Hospital, Dr. Tricia Devi Angriani. Thank you very much, Doctor, for being here with us. Dr. Devi, it's such a pleasure. Uh, I think because since Russia and I are both female, mm -hmm. this is something that is also very important for us. Um, let's get to it now. Most types of ovarian cysts are, like we said before, it's very uh, harmless, uh, it has, it's painless, and usually this ovarian cyst don't have any symptoms. So how can you elaborate more on this stuff? Yes, uh, as you already mentioned it before, most of the ovarian cysts is coming from the follicle cysts. So as you know that uh, after the period, uh, there will be growth of the follicle that uh, in the mid, uh, mid of the cycle, the follicle will mature and uh, if there is no fertilization, uh, it will uh, disappear. Mm -hmm. okay. And in this situation, 85%, uh, as you said already before, the, follicle, uh, the follicle cysts are benign or not cancer, okay. not malignant. So um, within uh, three or four months, it will disappear by itself. Mm -hmm. So there's a situation when uh, there is no rupture of the follicle cells, it can grow. Mm. Okay. So we call it uh, the follicle cells is benign and not a neoblasm if the size is uh, usually less than 3 cm. Mm. But sometimes it can be bigger, more than 3 cm up to 5 cm, so we still say that it's a follicle cells. Mm -hmm. Uh, to differentiate whether it's follicle cyst or not, uh, doctor usually will uh, do the ultrasonography uh, transvaginally. Uh, we will see whether it uh, follow the uh, normal cycle or not. But if you see, uh, to differentiate actually whether this is normal or not normal, we have to look at the um, uh, inside of the ovary. So the ovary consists of uh, two types, the epithelium, uh, it means that uh, it covers the outer uh, surface of the ovary mm -hmm. and non-epithelium which is uh, inside of the uh, ovary. So it consists of the follicle itself and also the stromal. So if the uh, cyst is coming from the surface of the uh, ovary, we call it uh, neoplasms. Mm -hmm. mm. So why we call it cyst? Because uh, cyst is actually it's a tumor but consists of the water inside. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's what we call uh, cyst. Right. So if, if it's coming from the epithelial, the outer uh, face of the ovary, we call it neoblasm. So it could be benign or non-cancer or right. it could be malignant or cancer. Right. How yeah. dangerous is ovarian cyst actually, Doc? Uh, well, uh, I... 85% is normal, right? You yes. already mentioned it before. Yes. So when it's normal, actually it will disappear by itself. Yeah. Sometimes, uh, mostly, it, it doesn't produce any sign mm -hmm. or symptom. Mm -hmm. But if it turns uh, become hemorrhage cyst, mm -hmm. sometimes it can rupture and it can cause pain. I see. Or if the cyst is torsion, you know, uh, torsion? Uh, twist, mm -hmm. right? Yes, it can cause also uh, a symptoms, but it's very rare. Right. Usually, it produces no symptoms. Mm -hmm. So, what causes this then? Uh, this ovarian cyst itself? Uh, the normal, the normal follicle cysts uh, usually followed uh, by the uh, irregular of the period. Okay. So, mm. normally, uh, the period will, you know, produce follicle, mature, mm -hmm. ruptures. Yes. Uh, when there is no fertilization, so it will start with the period, and mm -hmm. uh, so it's normally happen uh, every month, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. But there is a uh, certain uh, situation that this follicle uh, is not rupture. Right. Uh, usually because of the imbalance of the hormonal. Right. Yeah. One of it because of. Uh, Obesity, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or uh, maybe you've ever heard about the PCOS. Yes. Yes. Polycystic ovarian syndromes, mm -hmm. uh, excessive of the insulin, so we call it resistant insulin, mm -hmm. uh, or diabetic. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So food intake, lifestyle yes, is a part of indeed. it. So yes. Indeed. So sometimes uh, related to the hyperestrogen. Mm -hmm. uh, a hyperestrogenism uh, situation, so condition, so that will seems, cause it. It seems like it's a combination of lifestyle that yes, yes, affecting indeed. your hormones yes. and then affecting what happens inside as well. Yes, yes, indeed. So, what do you think is the best prevention or monitoring system 
to uh, avoid having ovarian cysts? Uh, it depends on the type of the cysts. If you are talking about the follicular cysts, we Sometimes we don't need any medicines or surgery, so it will disappear by itself within three or four months, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, it can be uh, bigger than 3CM, as I already mentioned. Mm -hmm. There is no effective way to identify it because you know the ovary is located inside of the right. pelvic brain. Yes. Yes. So you cannot palpate it and you cannot see it. Yes. So you should go to the doctor. I mean, yeah. uh, annually examinations mm -hmm. uh, for the gynecology examination mm -hmm. will yes. be the best way. And then after that, the doctor will uh, uh, do the transvaginal ultrasounds mm -hmm. because if the cyst is still small, you you need uh, additional uh, imaging. Mm. The simple way is to do the transvaginal ultrasounds. And the problem, sometimes patients refuse. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Why <laughs> is that, it, Doc? Uh, they refuse to be inserted something inside of the <laughs> yeah. uh, stigma or unfamiliarity. Mm, no, it's because they doesn't want to do it. Oh. <laughs> but you know, if we should know the locations of the ovary uh, itself. You know that uh, the cervix, uh, uh, the, the uterus is located uh, 7 to 10 cm from the opening of the vagina. Mm. And the ovary is above. Right. Mm. So there is no way <laughs> there that is you no cannot way. check yes, up with your USS inside itself. Yes. Usually, um, doctor will do the palpations. Mm -hmm. We call it uh, um, uh, bimanual examinations, mm -hmm. and after that, if uh, we suspect it, actually by this hand, I cannot palpate the mass yeah. uh, less than 5 cm. Correct. Right. So if I could palpate uh, something inside of the pelvic frame, yeah. it means that the size is already uh, yeah. more than 5 cm. And that's right. already a danger. Right? Yes, yes, yes. And for the neoplasms, uh, Especially, we are worried about the uh, ovarian cancer. Mm -hmm. So, actually, there is no effective uh, screening uh, to detect the early stage of the ovarian cancer. Yeah. So, mostly, ovarian cancer will come in advanced stage, mm. stage 3 C already. And uh, the incidence is just the same uh, in Indonesia, developing mm. country or developed country. Yeah. Because there is no effective way, whether we want to do the, perform the transvaginal ultrasound or to check the tumor marker, maybe you have, uh, have ever uh, uh, know that uh, there is a specific uh, tumor marker for the ovarian cancer. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. Now, uh, with that said, though, um, you know, there's a lot of, we're talking about stigma, there's a lot of people saying, oh, those who get ovarian cysts, like you said, maybe cannot have, or they cannot have pregnancy, or, you know, those are the oh, ones okay. that's, you know, the one that is still not married yet, or maybe those are the one that is actually having kids. So who's actually the one that is at risk with the ovarian cyst itself, Doc? Uh, it depends on the type of the ovarian cyst itself. Uh, with uh, the ovarian cyst uh, following the, um, uh, the, the neoplasm, uh, the B9, uh, maybe you've ever heard about the chocolate cyst, endometriosis sometimes. It can cause the infertility, but the other ovarian cyst sometimes it doesn't reflect with the cycle of the period. So okay. Okay. to get pregnant, it means that you have a regular period, right? Yes. Sometimes it doesn't reflect anything with the uh, the period, but uh, the follicle, uh, the uh, the functional cyst mm -hmm. uh, related with the imbalance hormonal, yeah. related with the obesity, resistant yeah. insulin, diabetic because there is no uh, matured follicle, no ovulation, uh, it cannot be uh, fertilized because there is mm -hmm. no uh, follicle that, uh, the, ov the ovum that cannot be fertilized by the sperm because there is no ovulation. It can cause also the fer uh, infertilitis. But mostly, uh, actually, uh, it doesn't reflect with the infertility or not, mm -hmm. except if it's related with the malignancy and the doctor has to take it out the ovary. Right. Over ovary. Yes. yes, yes. Because one ovary is actually it's enough uh, oh. to be fertilized. Yes. So it, it depends on the type, it mm. depends on the surgery that performed. Uh, 
So you cannot yeah. really generalize, oh, yes. you have ovarian cysts, then it means you are not fertile mm. or anything like mm, that no. at all. It really no. is more than that. It depends on the malignancies, the treatment, the surgery, the surgery yes, as indeed. well. Well, all right. Now, what is the situation in Indonesia, Doc? I'm curious because we were also interviewing a breast cancer uh, doctor. And then uh, what I'm interested here is about the level of awareness of people in terms of how to get yourself detected, as well as how to uh, make sure that you have the right lifestyle or even like checking up every certain preventions. time, preventions to prevent variances. Okay, uh, the thing that you should consider whether the, uh, the, uh, we're talking about the neoplasms, mm -hmm. not the functional cysts. Uh, usually functional cysts, as I already mentioned before, that produce no symptoms, right? Mm -hmm. But the thing that you should uh, worry about is uh, whether you have uh, at least for having ovarian cancer. Mm. Uh, up to 20%, 15 to 20% uh, ovarian cysts uh, usually link to the hereditary gynecology cancer uh, in the family. Maybe if you ever heard about the Angelina Jolie, so there yes. is a, yes, yes. A mutation of BRCA1 and 2, it was related with the breast ovary cancer. So if in the family has the history of the uh, breast cancer or right. ovarian cancer in early young age, mm. and uh, if there is a BRCA mutation, it means uh, C has the risk for having an ovarian cancer, right. about 20%. Another thing is, uh, we call it link syndrome. So it's mismatch repair mutation, sorry. <laughs> It's very medical terminology, but it's related to the uh, colonic cancer, uterus cancer, and ovarian cancer. Mm -hmm. So if in the family you have a history of the colonic cancer, ovarian cancer, or uterus cancer, that you should be more aware to do the examination. Yes. I mean, and the doctor has to put uh, strongly uh, attention mm -hmm. to do the screening even though I said it already uh, before that there is no effective uh, screening for ovarian cancer. Yeah. But uh, you should do it uh, regularly. Mm. For the other people, uh, yeah, you have to do uh, annually uh, examination. Mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes, uh, you know, it's a misunderstanding uh, for a woman that you should, you only visit the Obsession and gynecologist when you are pregnant. Mm. Correct. Yeah. Yes. But actually, it's not true. Mm. Yes. Obstetric, uh, obstetrician, obstetric is related to the pregnancy yes. and gynecology related with the external and internal uh, yes. reproductive yes. organ. Mm. Yes, because we keep, you know, every day our <laughs> hormonal changes and whatnot, yes. our lifestyle changes and not. So, I mean, what happened yesterday and today is very different in itself with our body. So now, doc, every patient is very different, especially those who are infected or has the ovarian cyst, how can it be treated then? Take us through the process. Uh, to treat with... Treat the ovarian cyst. Uh, the ovarian cyst, it depends on the cause, of course. Right, right. Uh, so the treatment of the ovarian cyst uh, depends on the, uh, the cause of the... or the histotype of the ovarian cyst mm -hmm. itself. If you are talking about... Uh, if we are talking about the functional cyst, already mentioned it that Sometimes no need uh, uh, treatment. Okay, right. Or maybe sometimes doctor will give you a medicine, usually a hormonal, to uh, make it rupture by itself. Mm. But it's really rare uh, we perform the surgery to the uh, functional cyst. But for the abnormal, or we call it neoplasm, it depends on whether this is benign or malignant. Mm -hmm. For the benign cysts, usually it depends also uh, whether the age and the fertility function are the issue or not. Mm -hmm. If it's not the issue, usually the doctor will uh, do the um, definitive treatment to mm -hmm. take it out the ovary. Mm -hmm. Let's say you have 25 cm whooping ovarian cysts, oh, and the age is already 50 years old, yeah. uh, parity, parity three, already have uh, three kids, the uh, doctor will take it out the way. Right. We call it definitive treatment. Mm -hmm. But if for the young lady, if it's a B9, uh, sometimes uh, 10 cm of the ovarian cysts, we only do the cystectomy, so it's conservative. Mm -hmm. So we maintain the ovary still inside and right. we only take the cysts. 
Right. And the approach, it could be laparotomy, like the C-section, mm -hmm. or by endoscopy, we call it laparoscopy. Right. It's good to know there's many um, there's many choices of, yes. of treatments sure. that you can do. And this is yes, not something indeed. that we should be afraid of, but something that we need to be aware of. That's definite. Yes. And uh, if you guys see, right, Hailey Bieber's photo, she said that she was bloated in a photo and she said it's not a baby. And I imagine like the feeling of bloated, but how does it actually feel to live with an ovarian cyst, you know, whether it's benign or more malign? Uh, uh, if it's neoplasm, then you should be treated, of course. Mm -hmm. If a functional cyst, it will disappear by itself. Does it feel pain though, Doc? I mean, she, again, as uh, Rasha said, you know, uh, we see Hailey Bieber has bloating. Yeah, uh, does, does she feel a little bit pain or is she just seeing there's changes in her uh, body? Sometimes it doesn't cause any pain. Oh, ah, okay. It's just splitting. Right. So that is why that's, uh, she doesn't feel anything if, uh, if it doesn't distortion or rupture. Yes. If it's a uh, twist or rupture, mm -hmm. they can cause pain. Right. But it depends also with the histotype of the, uh, the cyst. If the endometriosis cyst, it will cause pain because it's contained of the blood inside of the cyst. Yes. But she said that, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, she was not suffering from endometriosis no, cyst or PCO. No. It could be neoplasm. Mm. So from the surface of the epithel, like I told you before, yes. it can grow into uh, benign or malignant. From benign, uh, we call it cyst adenoma serosum or cyst adenoma mucinosum. So it can, it's a normal, but you have to take it out. Okay. Yeah. So at but the... how to know it? Mm. You should see uh, under microscopic uh, yes. view. And there is no way, even though by the imaging, uh, the golden uh, the golden standard to differentiate with the disease benign or malignant that you said to take it out and see under the microscope. Right. We call it the histopathology result. This is such a very in-depth view, yes. I think, with this yes. ovarian cyst. Something that sometimes we uh, women kind of afraid to talk about again, but this is something that we have to be aware. Of. And good thing Dr. Tricia here already told us there are some treatments, and it's better if you got the early detection. How do you do it? Annually, see your gynecologist to see how well you're doing with yourself and your body. Thank you so much, Dr. Tricia, for being here with us. Thank you so, Thank much, you so much. And we the are opportunity. yes, it is such a great pleasure. Hopefully, we're going to talk more with you yes. especially about women reproduction yes. right yes. this is something that we need to really push forward to right here in indonesia we're going to take a break right now but when we return we have more updates from around the world when we return so stay tuned with us